Hey guys, what's up? Axel here, back again to run Quest 3 in the Disciples of Rage, the new adventure pack. First time through for me, so gonna see my comments and first impressions as you did the prior videos. And the next quest giver is going to be Dabney, Dabney Drasco. And I've kind of given up on understanding the lore for this one so far because I haven't been reading the NBC boxes as much as I should. But uh, I'll have to look it up after I'm done running these. But I know they are trying to cure some kind of madness curse that's going around in Stormreach. Ooh, we're going to see Bron Pits again. He's from the other, the you know, the, <laughs> the carnival pack in House J. Or in House P, I'm sorry, not House J. Okay. Handful of nomadic giants have, have pitched their that? tents outside the Stormreach city walls, trading their goods and stories with smaller folk. Looks like a like a frozen giant from Giant Hold or something. A sudden whiff of musky odor makes you both nauseous and angry. Um, Don't these brutes have a wash? My concentration isn't that great. Guess I should use uh, GH first. Oh, too late. The third man won today. It's the Garashka tool. Run! cries one of the giants. And off they go, not even stopping to look back. So I like the background for this one a little bit more open, it looks like, than the last two quests. Got some elementals. We did not see that in the first two quests. And giants, obviously, they're always fun to kill. Gonna ignore the archers. Ancient altar, so collectible. Oh, maybe not. Um, let's pray to Heaven Host. I don't know what that does. I thought maybe that would give us a buff or something, but uh, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't have Sylvanus as an option. Or I would have picked that since that's my uh, you know cleric religion here that I chose for this character. Let us pass. Is this gonna open? No. I'm gonna lose my blitz. Oh okay. Um, so perhaps we chance. Blah blah blah. was saved. Lost her blitz, anyways.
so we really got to choose who to fight there. We could fight this guy or that caster. I'm wondering if that makes a difference in the quest aside from this. Okay, is this going to open now or not? Or was that just an optional? I don't know. Yeah, I, I, okay, I think that was just an optional, I guess. Our main objective is still find brawn pits. Oh, there's another altar. Do we have to interact with this? So last time we chose Sovereign Host, so let's try Silver Flame. something maybe we have to kill those two archers probably not but we'll try it So we already selected these. Do we have to interact with the giant, the frozen giant? Or do we just, oh, we just run back here. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's no, okay, we actually go this way. There's no invisible walls or anything. Okay, I kind of expected there to be an invisible wall. I didn't even try to run back this way. So this one is really open. Okay, so this looks pretty cool with the waterfall and the river. Are we going to jump over it? Let's do it. This does is really starting to remind me of Ron Quit's other, you know, his other main quest in the carnival chain. Find the tree and the curse. That is a funky looking rock. Okay, so now we hit an invisible wall. Hmm. So find brawn pits. So there is sort of a path up this way. Archer. I'm guessing we'll find Bron Pit sitting behind a or sitting beside a campfire somewhere up here. Or somewhere on the map. Here's another altar.
I do like the more wide open approach. What is this? Spear with a giant skull. Can we interact? We can. take the burned giant skull from the pike. You hear a voice coming from the bushes. You claim yeah, I at this point have no idea what's going on with the lore. Challenge is accepted. But it looks like an optional. The drow scorpion. I don't really understand what the drow are doing, you know, in this pack, lore wise. Because we saw the Zoriat in the first couple quests, and we haven't seen them since, really. I mean, there were a couple floating eyes, but we haven't seen any Taken or anything like that. I thought I heard a chest unlock. I don't see one. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, let's just keep going until we find brown pits. where we were find a treatment for the curse so there is kind of a big black blob here in the middle we didn't look through but I don't see anything just some trash I don't think we have to kill it. Let's go back up here to this little, I guess, the, the northwest part of the map. Yeah, I bet we gotta climb up here. Hmm, okay, we can't go up this way. This is where we were. This is where we killed that scorpion. Hmm. And we just did a circle. I thought we could get up there somehow, but maybe not. Hmm. Maybe I can go to the northeast here somehow. See a red name. Fire giant warlock.
So yeah, since we've pretty much seen the rest of the map, Ground Piss has got to be up this path. Unless I really missed something. See Ron Pitts. Maybe there's an NPC I had to talk to or something. Because I'm pretty sure I have explored the whole map at this point. Because I don't think I can go this way. Yeah, this is this invisible wall we were at earlier. So. I'm going to go, I guess I'm going to go back and try to talk to the NPCs because one of the other, uh, one of the other objectives here is find a treatment for the curse. So maybe we have to do that first before we can find brown pits. Because yeah, I think I have explored the whole map at this point. Less, no I can't, okay. Okay, I don't need to kill that scout. Yeah, let's just wrap around and go back and talk to some NPCs. Maybe one of them will open that door that was closed earlier. Because, yeah, this has got to open, right? This has got to open for us to advance. we go up here? Yeah, we went up here. Did we? I don't think I went. I didn't go up here. Oh, okay, this doesn't lead anywhere. Okay, I've been here. we talked to this guy? No, we haven't talked to this guy. Okay, I just uh, I just totally missed this area. It was off the road right here. I just didn't see it. Okay, I guess we have to just because it says smells like brawn pits. Okay, so this must belong to brawn pits. What about the cauldron? Well, looks like we can go to the right side of the map. This is the beginning. And that's where the quest started. Now why does this have an entrance icon? That stew cauldron. It's kind of weird.
another altar. And I have no idea what the, what uh, these things do. I'm just trying to pick ones I haven't picked before. Karak, the final guardian. We got XP. Okay, sure. Maybe those are just optionals and it doesn't matter which one you pick. So I think we can go up this hill right here. Ron Pitts over here. I swear, it's like I'm gonna look through this whole entire map. You guys are gonna watch me wander around this map for like 30 minutes, and then the very last little corner I haven't checked is gonna be where I needed to go. Yeah, this map is really spread out. This quest is going to be more fun to do when I actually know, like, where to go. Mother Scorpion. There's a... Oh. I thought that was a baby scorpion. Oh, well, the baby scorpion's on its back. Okay, I see. The mother scorpion fought valiantly to defend its last remaining child, which promptly skitters away. You're inclined to claim the mother's stinger. Oh, okay, it did drop. I thought the DM said that, or I wouldn't have seen you it. You take the stinger, reflecting on the deep respect the Vokuri Drow have for these creatures and their courage. There he is, finally. It only took us like, what? How long is this video now? <sighs> like 40 minutes, 30 minutes. All right, Bron Pitts. So Bron Pitts has the, uh, looks like he's infected with this kind of chaos curse. So now let's go back to, this, to his tent and wait for Bron Pitts there. And his pit, his, his tent was back here. So yeah, we're going to use this cauldron for something. So yeah, I think literally, like look at this map guys, like literally like the last place on the map I had not looked was where I needed to go. Got another priestess. Mm, do we have to kill these things? Yeah, I don't see Bron Pits yet, so I guess I have to kill these things.
Okay, there he is. Yeah, okay, so I think I've, so uh, Bronpus is saying that I need to gather components for him. That's actually what you do in the House P quest. But it looks like I've already gathered all this stuff, so I should be able to advance already. Yeah, we have this, we have the, I think we have all this. Scorch stream on a spit. With all the ingredients. Hey, I think I found something. Okay. Okay, saying so throw it in the pot. So the stuff we collected. Okay, stinger. So I'm throwing the stinger I collected in there. The bone. Campbell's out here. So there. Okay, I collected that one. And I know I collected that one because we killed the spider. Okay, so all that wandering around in the beginning wasn't just for optionals, we had to actually do it. So what's next? Go have a nap in the tent. So he's telling us to go have a nap in the tent. Hey, <laughs> Bronpit, so you have a lady friend. That's kind of funny. Okay, whatever. Take a nap. Perhaps oblivion will take you for a spell if you can just get past the anger that boils within. So Bronfitz carried us to another different location. <laughs> Let the drow have this too, they died. Okay. Stay here, get some rest. I go talk to people. Get some rest. I'll be back soon. Get some rest. We just slept. Rest until Bronfitz returns. So we can uh, I guess I can Rest if I need to. I guess I may as well hit the shrine. Oh, giant as he stares at you in disbelief. wait. Do we gonna have to fight here? these guys? Let's go talk to him. <laughs> I'm here to slay giants and drink stew, and I'm all out of stew. You know, that's that's obviously a reference to the Clint Eastwood, or not Clint Eastwood. Who was that? Um, I forget what movie that's from, but he says, I'm here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. So I guess we can go ahead and kill these guys. Oh my gosh, this guy's a ton of health. Kill the giant first. Giant down. Killed my master. Oh, good. We don't have to kill the caster. 
Gron Pit is back. And why does he have stone skin? <laughs> Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay. Alright, so this quest is, seems like a lot longer than the other ones. Of course, I kind of got lost a little bit there, and I kind of ran around the map some where I probably didn't have to. But you did have to run. I, I pretty much had to run at least most of the places that I had to before, uh, that I had to just to collect the ingredients. But this is a quest that's going to be more fun once I understand where the ingredients are so I don't have to just like run around aimlessly um, trying to trying to find them so uh, so that's cool um, unless I guess unless they randomize the locations but uh, so a little bit different than the other quests they want to straightforward a lot more exploring so yeah I like this quest I want to actually run it again and actually probably look up a map as to where the ingredients are so that will make it more fun so all right guys that's gonna be it for this video hope you enjoyed i will be back for the next quest i think there's five quests in this pack so i'll be back for quest four in a future video take care